and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Jund Sacrifice. That's right, We're gonna call this one Sacrifice. You can also kind of call this Aristocrats if you want. We could go with Jund Aristocrats. Um, it's same kind of uh, thing. So basically what we're doing is we're playing small, cheap creatures that we don't mind sacrificing. And we're trying to sacrifice our own creatures for profit here. Uh, this is a list from a viewer in chat that um, said they've been having some success with it and I wanted to try it out. I did switch up the sideboard a little bit for some per personal preferences. Like I just really like Ashiok um, in the metagame right now. And so we got some of those in there and stuff like that. But um, yeah, like we got, you know, we got our Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven combo, which we played that in the Ayara Citadel deck a couple of days ago, and that felt pretty powerful. Um, and then, of course, we have Gutter Bones, another really great creature to sacrifice. Same with Dreadhorde Butcher, especially if you can get some counters on Dreadhorde Butcher, you don't mind sacrificing this thing. Um, our sack outlets, besides Witches Oven, we got Priest of Forgotten Gods. Uh, just as you all know, just an awesome card whenever we get to trigger this. We do need enough creatures, though, to sacrifice. I'm a little worried about Priest here. Like, the one drops are awesome, but, you know, activating Priest and getting rid of, like, your three drops isn't amazing. So I'm a little worried about Priest, but that's I can see why there's only three instead of four of those in here. Um, but speaking of the three drops, they're kind of like the power of the deck. Midnight Reaper getting us extra cards each time one of our creatures dies. Uh, Judith, of course, making our deck a lot more aggressive with that first part, but then also dealing extra damage whenever our creatures die. And then the same thing, Mayhem Devil, uh, whenever we sacrifice a permanent. Uh, and that's any player, of course, sacrifice a permanent. We get to start pinging. So got a lot of ping damage running around here. Rankle is, looks to be pretty awesome in this kind of deck. You know, it has haste, it has flying, you know, it has evasion and haste. Um, and then, you know, we can make both players sacrifice. So we can trigger Mayhem Devil twice with that. Um, and, you know, like, Rankled is just, like, perfect for this deck. Uh, Golgari Queen is another sack outlet. If we want, we can sacrifice our own permanents to draw cards, or it's just a good removal spell. And then we have the Brawl card, Corvold, Fake Cursed King. So it's a 4-4 four, four flyer. And whenever ETBs or attacks, you do have to sacrifice another permanent. So you can sacrifice lands and stuff like that if you want. And, you know, that's a, another way to trigger, like, Mayhem Devil. And But also, whenever you sacrifice a permanent, you get to put a 1-1 counter on Corvold and draw a card. Uh, so basically, Corvold already enters as a 5-5 five five that draws a card whenever you just play it. But you do have to sacrifice something. And then, yeah, any other additional times you sacrifice permanents, um, put 1-1 one one counters on Corvold and draw cards. So that's really the reason why we're splashing green is for this card here. Um, so yeah, so this is what our deck's about. We're going to go ahead and try this out over in Ranked. We're playing playing some Ranked here today. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. So here we go. Jund Sacrifice. Yeah, Cor Corvold. Uh, this will be my first time playing in Standard. We, I played Corvold a little bit in, like, in the Brawl event that they had um, you know, a couple weeks ago whenever they had that. Yeah, Matthew, I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't put the main deck together there, Pit. But yeah, three mana Chandra would be awesome in this kind of deck. Uh, you know, like trigger, especially with Corvold. Um, you know, you get to draw two whenever you do the zero ability because you do sacrifice those tokens. Um, but I guess, yeah, I'm guessing like the the mana is maybe a little rough as far as. Uh, double red is concerned. Of course, we have two red sources here, but... And I'm guessing that just the other three drops were wanted more. But I, I love three mana Chandra with Priest. I think three mana Chandra makes Priest a lot better. Um, am I going to do decks with each of the four Brawl Commanders? I'm sure I'll be playing them in Standard. Um, yeah, but maybe not right away. Probably over time. Uh, especially because they are Mythics that take Mythic Wild cards. <laughs> which is rough. I had to 
open a bunch of packs just to be able to get the two mythic wild cards to be able to use Corvolds today. A bunch of packs I didn't want to open. So the goose doesn't add mana right now. I'm gonna just get a, no, a uh, priest in play instead of legions ending the goose. Maybe legions ended next turn. We'll, we'll kind of see. Yeah, we're on legions in it here because like they're they're planning on just making a uh, making an egg or a food token, making a food. This looks like a kind of a sultai mid range control. Sorry, make make a food. Whatever. Not an egg. Hey, Candy Ninja. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. When it says Storm Count 2, did we have a, su a sub earlier that I missed? I don't think so. Huh. I don't know why it says 2. So they are not taking the Golgari Queen, which is surprising. Obviously, they can kill Golgari Queen with the Midnight Reaper, and I'm sure that's what they want to do. But they could also just kill the Priest with Golgari Queen. Step aside or be crushed. I'm going to sacrifice the mountain, actually. Yeah, let's sacrifice the mountain. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Whoa, what? That was, yeah, just a mistake. Just hit, clicked the wrong thing. Meant to murderous rider, kill the Golgari Queen. All right, so Sultai Control. Let's get these Priests of Forgotten Gods out of here. And get Veil of Summers in. I have to be worried about... Um, I mean, trophy is probably just, or grass is just better than trophy. I have to be worried about Oko and Questing Beast. Those, those are two cards that I'm definitely worried about. Um, maybe I should play this trophy. Looks like the Legion's End is probably just against the the... Just the bird. I want this extra Golgari Queen instead of a Mayhem Devil. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the same way on a Musha. I'm, I am. Um, <clears throat> I feel bad for the opponent when they do something like that. Instead of like happy that I got a win, I feel more sad than happy. <clears throat> I don't think our life total will be under duress too much. 
from what we've seen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shock here to be able to protect from Thought Erasure. Alright, so tra trading two drops, and we pick up a, a point of damage. Hmm. They got their own Veil of Summers. tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true gaze into my face and put on your true shape wherever i go close-minded <clears throat> too much loyalty for oko over there <clears throat> even though we could attack for four by playing judith and then hold up veil of summer which would have been a good turn So hopefully they're not. Okay, it's not ritual of sight. So it could be worse. That's what I was going to be saying, is hopefully they weren't playing Ritual of Sit. That's just such a worse card than Ritual of Sit. Makes the dragon card good. Which which dragon card? Like Corvold? <clears throat> yeah, Corvold draws draws cards. It's also, yeah, very, a very large flyer. A very large flyer that draws cards. <laughs> yeah, we have, yeah, yeah, we have cat, cat and oven. <laughs> So any deck that has cats and ovens are easy five wins for you. <laughs> it may be. It may be. We'll see.
See, I'm, I'm a little worried about our deck not making Priest of Forgotten Gods very good. A little worried about that. Because, you know, like, we're, like, to activate Priest, we're going to have to be sacrificing three drops basically all the time. So it looks like a Golos deck. Played any version of Abzan Knights? I have not. I've, I've only played Orzov Knights so far. Um, ooh, Rankle is really good. You know, flies over zombie hordes and everything, but yeah, we, we can just keep I say it costs four mana. We don't have four mana, but we can kind of use Priest to help generate four mana as well. But yeah, so I have not, I have not played any green splash. Hmm. So that's five. We'll put them down to eight. This can do six. That can do four. Or that will put them down to six. This will put them down to two. Looks like they could just be relying on Time Wipe here. But Time Wipe will put them down to two and will draw um, five cards. Oh gosh. Well, that's just them being dead. And so, like, basically, we just need to draw an untapped land. If it was time wipe, we just need to draw an untapped land in five cards. Uh, well, plus our draw step, so six cards. All right, so they gain three life for that. Trophying the Golos doesn't really help because they just go and grab an another field here. So if we do this, that's six. Yeah. So we do have to play Rankle. I was, I was basically kind of seeing if I could kill my opponent without showing Rankle. Because the trophy would get them another zombie. All right, Ashiok in. Legion's end in. Um, it's not a great Priest of Forgotten Gods matchup. Again. Could definitely play Duress. I should probably cut some threes. Is Mayhem Devil my worst three? I guess it is. I just don't want to play infinite threes. Hmm. 
think I'm going to just mulligan this. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan that. All right, I like this better. Um, I kind of like everything, though. You know, like, the cat and the oven are, like, my two weakest cards, but they work so well together. So, you know, like, getting rid of one of them doesn't really help too much. I guess I could get rid of Judith, I guess. I'm keeping Dreadhorde Butcher, and I'm keeping Ashiok. Is Dreadhorde Butcher actually that good? I mean, because if they just have... Hmm. If they just have, like, an O3, you know, if they just have the that one mana O3, Dreadhorde Butcher kind of does nothing. So maybe I get rid of Dreadhorde Butcher. Turn two, I can just play the cat oven combo. Ah, uh, they did not have the O3. Pretty nice combo with, you know, Judith or even or uh, Mayhem Devil. You only know, have like those three drops in play, get to get extra pings in. Of course playing Ashiok. There you go. Alright, got rid of a Krasis and a Teferi. Before they can before they could circuit us route. So you they get to attack Ashiok here. We got some good pressure. So obviously I'm not going to minus Ashiok anymore and hopefully we can get rid of this crisis. Wow. It's unfortunate. Alright, so they get to kill Ashiok. 
Um, if I just don't minus Ashiok at all, they don't get to kill Ashiok, but it's probably worth it. I don't know. I will always we'll see. If they just have Golos, they could get two blockers. Hey, awesome. Well, welcome to the channel, Dictionary. Glad to have you here. So, question is, why not? Why should I? Why didn't I just minus Ashiok to zero if they're going to kill Ashiok anyway? Because it does force them to, by not minusing, it does force them to attack and, you know, tap their Krasis so their Krasis didn't get to block. So, it did force them to do that. Legion's End, you're a little late. I need you against that Krasis earlier. So two Krasis are gone. One Golos. We didn't hit any Field of the Deads. Like, that's that's the best hit is hitting a Field of the Dead. That's the be best case scenario. So Route and Double Teferi. So if I Legion's in this 2-2, how am I... How am I really winning the game? I don't think I am. Or like, how, how am I fin doing like the last points of damage? Yeah, there's two fields. Unfortunately, they still got one of them. Out, but that's two field. I'm gonna kind of wait a little bit. I'm gonna give them another turn to like you know play another land, get another two two out and stuff, and then and hopefully legions end and get some more damage. And they they do have to be worried about you know me playing like hay stuff and doing a lot of damage. Try this. So three crisis are gone. See, I, I like this. Use your use your lands. Last crisis. No crisis. Yeah, they basically have to draw crisis here. Don't worry. I got still have another draw with this other Teferi. Right on schedule. So yeah, this. They can only gain one life now with Gracious anyway, so this is game. Because, you know, I get to do one damage with the Dreadhor Butcher. And Cauldron Familiar. 
It was kind of hidden there, but keeping my opponent from circuitous routing earlier with that Ashiok I'm sure is a really big part of slowing my opponent down. All right, Jund, Snackrifice. Game 2 0. That's why I put on the gingerbread sleeves for our Snackrifice deck. Yeah, it always does feel good beating Golos Field of the Dead. Golos Dead? I don't know. Whatever the name of that deck is. Okay. Don't have an untapped third land, but I can go Familiar Priest. No, I'm going to play five matches with each deck. So that's what we're going to do. Um... I may, I may play a little less than five, depending on how it goes, but um, yeah, we're sacrificing. You know, like if, if we're not doing very well with the deck, I may not play all five, but. Would I rather sacrifice a Mayhem Devil or Judith? I probably Judith. Oh, sorry. Um Let me try fixing that. All right. Hopefully Stream Deck are showing the correct deck now. Okay. Um... So it's either playing Corvold or Mayhem Devil this turn. So the reason why not to play the Mayhem Devil first is because this is going to add two mana and then I just play Corvold. Like, this already is going to wipe out their battlefield. So, like, the Mayhem Devil is just, like, an extra two damage to them. I would rather have Corvold in play. Yeah, Grim Intent. Yep, this is the deck you sent me. Um, I changed up the sideboard some for personal preference stuff. I, you know, I put in Ashiox I really wanted. Yeah, you ain't you ain't beating Corvold. So Golgari Queen can take out Lucky Clover. <laughs> awesome, Rogobop. Love it. Glad you're loving the mono black value deck. Hey, I've had good afternoon. So far, so good. So far, so good. Two and zero. We dismantled a, a Golos deck, which felt pretty pretty good. Our first opponent 
had a little bit of like bad luck and, and bad play kind of thing. Didn't didn't really put up much of a fight. Uh, you know, misclick and stuff like that. Anyway, I want this other Legion's End. So this is 62, though. I'm not sure what I don't want. I'm going to take out Trophy. I'm going to just rely on Golgari Queen to kill that other thing. Okay, and it's probably got to be a 3 or a 4. Reaper, Judith, Devil... Wrinkle? I guess it's gotta be Wrinkle. I don't really want to, I like I like all those three drops. Like I I like the devil um and everything in this matchup. They have a lot of one toughness stuff, you know, so I think like all the ping damage is, is really uh, valuable in this matchup. There you go, Dark Law. See? I never mind the backseat drivers. It's not something that bothers me. So yeah, you, you said rankle also, so good call. So we're on the same wavelength. Am I gonna finally get this like this one gnat that's been flying around everywhere? I don't think so. Looks like I'm not getting it. I lost it. It was somewhere. Uh, I saw it a little bit ago. Ah, it flew away. Never gonna get that thing. It's been like a week of like one little tiny like gnat that's just like flying around the desk like somewhere. That I'll see like once a day. Yeah, the three drop slot that is that is the difficult one. So Grim Intent, I'm assuming you tried. Uh, I'm assuming you tried three mana Chandra. Also. Yeah, Dreadhorde Invasion works, but it's it's really slow though because you know like like let's say you know you need to untap with Priest one, which is kind of tough, but then then you need to like play Dreadhorde Invasion and then you, you have to untap with Dreadhorde Invasion before you get your first creature also, and that's tough. So while the the card does work, I with Priest I don't love it because it's. It's not the easiest to turn on. Yeah, I like it better with Ayara than with than with Priest. Hmm. Come on, kitty cat. You can take out that that knight there.
Witch's oven. Smitten Swordmaster. So that's six damage. I guess I'm going to need this Midnight Reaper to die. Kind of a tough game here. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should have Legion's End Smitten Swordmaster. Obviously, like th with them having a second one, I wish I did. Um, but yeah, with them bringing it back with the Order of Midnight and everything and the drain, the whole drain, like it's it's kind of their end game. So yeah, I guess I probably did the wrong Legion's End there. is expendable except me so of course if they draw another sword master I die here thanks Mr. Shumway thank you If I can survive, you know, I'll have, like, the food token I can... Like, Vras is going to kill the Lucky Clover this next turn. Yes. Yes. There we go. Combo time. We're about to just mow down their army. So, like, the Rankle was going to make them discard this last card. We were going to sacrifice a Dread Horde Butcher, which would have taken out two of these things. Uh, not the two ones, but the two three ones. Um, I was going to kill the Lucky Clover. And I was going to sit back and, and be able to machine gun down something else also with the Witch's Oven. Yeah, I could cat. Yeah, I could. I could sack the cat first and clear out blocker. Clear out one other blocker. But I, I think I'd rather kind of stay on defense though and not kill those two ones immediately, um, and do that end step kind of thing. Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Bringing the cat back would be another sacrifice. So yeah, we could have killed both two ones. That's true. Maybe so. Maybe it was maybe it would have been good to kill both two ones, and then the the second dreadhorde butcher would have been able to attack. Oh no, because we wouldn't have killed. No, because we had to have the rankle hit before we could say sacrifice to rankle. So no, yeah. So I wasn't gonna do that pre combat. Yeah, of course, blade. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Looks like our opponent doesn't want to fight on a battlefield. They want to fight on the tournament grounds. Which I am fine with that. Because I'm ready to end this Legion right here. Probably a Blacklands Paragon. Spawn of Mayhem's a problem. That's not a knight. Wait, they can't cast that thing. Yeah, what are they doing with that thing? They. Why are we playing Tournament Ground Spawn of Mayhem? What are we doing over here? What are we doing over here? So they can't cast Swift End at all, either. They need another Black Source to cast Swift End. I gotta be worried about that Spawn of Mayhem, though. That is... That's, that's a card that could kill me. Yay! All right, we got an answer to spawn. Just, just Song Hill. Oh, I guess current song works too. Are we supposed to play Midnight Reaper here? Like if I if I trophy the crusader, I'm just not gonna be able to kill this spawn. Which is definitely a problem.
really? We got everything else taken care of, basically, but how are we going to get rid of the spawn of mayhem still? I don't know. I'd love to draw a priest of forgotten gods. Golgari queen. Why does that thing cost four mana? Not great. It's this is time not to great. Step out of the shadows. So like I could kill the murderous rider or like or this thing, but then you know they can equip both of these though. Can't really deal with both of those. Hmm. Maybe I should have just trophied Umbercleave instead of trophying the creature. Guess I should have. Yeah, I guess I should have trophied Umbercleave instead of the creature. <laughs> Trample is the cat's one weakness. Yep. I need my, my priest. This is a good priest matchup. Maybe I don't need all these legions ends. I probably should play them. So I'm gonna take out the reapers and a corvold. Veil of Summer may not be so bad, you know, like we saw them have, you know, the, the Black Knight. But we need to keep a lot of, I mean, the only play, the, I guess I could play it over like Witch's Oven. Maybe. I mean, obviously, whenever we get like the, the Witch's Oven combo online, it's really nice, but we need to keep a lot of creatures in here for Priest. Alright, let's see how we do. We 
E. <laughs> Thanks, McCowan. Thanks for the bits. Um, I'm a huge RX Jelly fan. It's the the person you know the person in Twitch chat RX Jelly. I don't know if that's an if there's another person named RX Jelly or not. Let's see. So, like, I don't really want to kill this thing because it's a 1-1. One, one. And, you know, like, if we get to Mayhem Devil, Sacrifice stuff, we get to kill 1-1s. One, so I want to leave that one around. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if they don't realize their creature has haste. Oh, really, wizard? You changed your name? You're not Rx Jelly anymore? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yay. Thanks, Cowan. No, that was my whole plan. their hand loaded well, my plan was to play priest I play priest it's a really nice bone crusher giant target We'll make them discard one of these cards. All right, one spawn of mayhem down. Need to get, need to be able to get rid of this spawn of mayhem. go it's a good draw that's a good draw we'll make them discard Another card. Both at six. So one spawn of mayhem down. That was a, yeah, that was a really great top deck for us. Hmm. 
Doing this so I get to say discard. Definitely thought about just playing it and then sacrifice, but then we don't have it over here. So I'm paying two life to have it over here, basically. Okay. Yeah, they could have top decked like another Bone Crusher Giant to kill me, you know, like another burn spell like that. There's not a whole lot for them to, to top tech, though, from there. Yeah, that was really lucky. I mean, I had I have three removal spells for Spawn of Mayhem in the deck, and we drew one of the three. Maybe I need this extra Corval to something else to block Spawn. I don't think we can cut Butcher. It makes a lot of our other cards... Like, cutting Butcher t makes a lot of our other cards worse. Like, Butcher is just a good defensive card against, like, their their one toughness stuff, like Bans Black Lance Paragon, the, the Red Knight. Butcher is just a pretty good defensive card also. And, like, it makes, makes it really hard to play Priest if we cut Butcher. All right, we're going to need to draw a lot of spells... Basically, I'll take anything but land. Like, actual anything but land. <clears throat> to start with. Um, Corbal says Corbold or whatever. It says whenever it enters or attacks, you have to sacrifice a permanent. But whenever you do sacrifice a permanent, you get to put a counter on it and draw a card. All right, what if this is like the worst case scenario is draw two lands. We have the scry land that to help like find a um, like we have the scry land to help help us put a spell on top, which we did. We put a spell on top, but then the other two draws were both lands. That was like the worst case scenario for us with keeping this hand. Yeah, I did, Kendis. Yeah, I edited the deck list earlier today. Yep. And yeah, that's why I'm going to put that for the title for the YouTube video. I'm going to say Trollgari is back. This is only a 24 land deck. We're gonna need to, we just need to shuffle this library. This is only a 24 land deck. I'm not really expecting to draw three lands out of five cards after keeping five other lands. Yeah, I'm gonna play that. T I'm gonna play that event tomorrow, Zoltan, because it's gonna. It doesn't start until after my stream tonight. Um, so I'll play it tomorrow, and I think we're going to play Simic, um, the Simic Wishes deck that we played the other day on stream. I've changed a, just a couple of things. I'm going to play a couple Overgrown Tombs in it. Keep drawing spells. Of 
macros. That Black Lance Paragon was was possibly game winning there. This is just the the hardest card for me to deal with here is the Spawn of Mayhem, as we have seen. I don't have any outs. Like my my only play is this. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just don't have any outs. Yeah, I mean, I, I can look at one more card by activating, but there's, there's nothing I can possibly draw from there. The Legion's End did end up being horrible there, but that Black Lance Paragon flash. That was rough, but yeah, Spawn of Mayhem. Really tough. Um, I mean, I, I yeah, I risk that keeping five lands for sure. I mean, I, with keeping five lands, I needed, you know, like four of my next five to be spells. But instead, two of the next five were spells. And then that was just pretty tough after that. Standard seat. Um, I don't. I don't have like a great rec recommendation right now, Mike, for like what deck to play in standard. Um, it's still. It's still pretty early. You know, pretty early. I. I think that. Um, I think that Ashiok is really good because I think Golos Field of the Dead, is is pretty good, and I think a lot of people play that deck. And so I, if you if you're playing blue or black, I'd recommend having at least three Ashioks in your sideboard right now this would be a perfect time for a legion's end Still worried about just not enough creatures and not enough cheap creatures to go with Priest of Forgotten Gods here. That's that's my biggest worry about this deck.
We're playing Jund for the Corvold, the um, the Brawl Mythic, three color Mythic. No, no, I wasn't scared of the three one flash. Um, no, not really. I, you know, still trade like like my opponent would probably rather attack with the three one. So I can block both knights here. And they can activate and save one knight. The knights are about to be two threes. Okay, nice, Joko. Be a good call there. So one, two, three, four, five. So I get five triggers. If I go down to nine. I may be dead, because then that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of dead if I activate priest during my turn. I'm dead if, if I activate priest there. I'm kind of dead. I guess I'd still have one blocker. I guess, yeah, I guess I'd still have a blocker. Never mind. I was thinking about, so I want to kind of like set up blocks first and then. I guess the oh I I did one extra damage because the Dreadhorde Butcher actually dealt two, so I dealt one extra damage to that thing. Could have dealt one extra damage to them. Oh 
wish I had more life. Go down to five. Five, four, three. I go down to three. If I play Midnight Reaper, I go down to three. Gosh, that's so tough. Going down to three. Oh, I could have killed... Why do I always forget about the other trigger? That's the second... I forgot about the Mayhem double trigger. I could have killed the, the Knight. Oh, well. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they, they would have just sacked the one with damage on it. That's true. Yeah, they would have just sacked the one with damage on it. Good point, good point. So yeah, it could not have killed the knight. Good point, good point. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, that one looked pretty bad for us for a little while. But Priest, Judith, and Mayhem Devil can do some crazy stuff. So I want this extra Legion's End. Um... Extra Golgari Queen. Take the trophy out. Um... So I'm <clears throat> still not sure if I'm supposed to play Veil of Summer. I'm not sure. There. Yeah, no, I, I can understand that intent. I, I went with, I think, I'm calling the deck Sacrifice. Um, So I want Golgari Queen to be able to take out Lucky Clover if they're playing Lucky Clover. I, I feel like this is the Lucky Clover deck that we're playing against. Yeah, let's keep that. Yeah, but I that's that's the thing. I didn't I don't I don't want to call it um, as you had it there, Jun suicide. I just, I don't, that can just be, I don't know, that can just be something that can really, um, put some people off that have had to deal with that in their life. And so I just didn't want to name it that.
if I don't attack with the Dreadhor Butcher, if I just play these two Sacrifice, then they just get to sacrifice the Order of Midnight. They don't sacrifice the Midnight Reaper. lands. Oh, We're playing all these lands. Where are all these lands coming from? Yeah, PV got stuck on lands. There. You know, only the one color and everything. But still, you know, uh, overall deck played really well. Just the one loss. Uh, just the one close loss that, you know, couldn't quite deal with Spawn of Mayhem. Um, but besides that, our deck played pretty well. Priest of Forgotten Gods was awesome. Um... You know, Judith Mayhem Devil did a lot of cool things there with Priest and, and you know, like the Witches of Oven Cauldron Familiar type stuff. I think I'd probably have to say that I maybe don't love... I don't know. We never got to do anything with Corvold, basically. Just never... Like, we played Corvold one time. Our opponent conceded, like, immediately. Um... But I, I just kind of wish we had a, just a little bit more early stuff to be able to sacrifice to Priest. And I, but I don't know exactly where to fit that in. I think it would have to be over, like, Legion's End Trophy. Like, those things being, um, you know, like, another Priest and then, like, uh, Lazotop Re Reaper, Reaver, I guess. Lazotop Reaver, maybe, uh, kind of thing. You know, something else. You know, like, other things. Like, like you know, like that card makes two bodies for Priest. Um, as we talked about, three mana Chandra. Like, three mana Chandra would be awesome here, of course. Um, but with that being said, like, Rankle is very good. So, like, like maybe that's where we could trim. Maybe trim, like, a Rankle also. You know, like, I don't know, though. Like, everything played out pretty well, but there's there's just other options that we can also play as well. Um, I like Gutter... No, Gutter Bones is good. Gutter, like, being able to get back Gutter Bones and everything. It's, gutter Bones is, is certainly worth it. Um... Like, I, I wouldn't... And and as far as, like, Footlight Fiend, I think I would rather have Lazotep Reaver as something that's two bodies um, kind of thing there. But, yeah, it played, it played really well. Um, yeah, that's kind of a, about it to say about the deck. The mana, the mana worked, worked well. 
I was, con you know, concerned about the mana with having the six basics and everything, but it worked well. We only, like, you know, barely need a red source and barely need a green source kind of thing. Um, and, you know, like, it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult to find a red or a green kind of thing. Like, we had, we had both of those. Um, so, yeah, the mana was just fine. The deck worked pretty well. I, I wouldn't want Dreadhorde Invasion because because we talked about that one before. Um, I don't want to, you know, play my Priest on turn two and actually untap with Priest. And then I want whatever we're playing, I want creatures right then. I don't want to play a Dreadhorde Invasion then and then, like, also have to tap, untap yet again another turn to, like, finally get your Dreadhorde Invasion creature. That's it's just too slow for with Priest there. Because you don't want to play the Dreadhorde Invasion first because you want to you want to play your Priest immediately so you get to untap and because you want to untap as soon as possible with Priest. So I, I don't like Dreadhorde Invasion with Priest. Yeah, that is true. This this deck does lose a lot of life uh, between Midnight Reaper. You have to you have to shock quite a bit. Um, I don't know if there's like a great life life source out there, like a great way to gain extra life. I liked the Golgari Queen quite a bit. Golgari Queen was was quite good. Um, But uh, no, I think goose goose requires too much green mana. We don't have enough green mana for the goose. But there we go. So that's Jun's sacrifice. It's a pretty cool deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and please leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, if there's anything you'd change about it, uh, and also if you try the deck out yourself, if you're, you know, like I know a lot of people like to try some of these decks. If, if you try the deck out, let me know how it goes. You know, give me some feedback. What's working well? What are you struggling against? And everything like that. So whenever I play the deck next time, I'll have some more feedback there. So leave some comments over on YouTube. All right. But that's it here for John Sacrifice. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.